yeah, 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 we in this bitch. Hey. Uh, how you how, how you feel? How you feel? That's I'm good, me. man. I'm good. We got, I can't complain. We got, a spe- we got some special. We got two special guests today. I know. Yeah. We, so we got we got a whole big setup. Going. We I got know. Five mics. We're doing some some trickery here. Is this the I, big? Is I this the, the most we've done? Oh yeah, absolutely. The most we did before was three. We had Steve. Nah, we've only had one guest on at a time right. before. And so then, yeah. our first so time then three, if you include time. All right, all right. Well. You know what, Derek? I'm gonna let you do it today. Since, yeah, I'm gonna let you do it today. I'm gonna let De- this is the first time Derek is right. doing the, the uh, introduction. So I'm your co-host, Derek Body Beats, because it's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but no, this is uh, really cool for me. Um, first, to introduce my brother. This is my brother right here, D. Lashawn Fisher, right here. Excuse me, Doctor hey. D. Lashawn Fisher, Farm D. Hey, I see you, boy. D. Lashawn right. Fisher. I'm really proud of my young. This is my little brother. So this is this is really special for me, but. This is my brother. Also, this is my man Lionel Holmes right here. This is my guy from high school. We've been knowing each other since we were 15, 14, 15. We heard about each other from afar. We went to different schools. We like, hey, I heard about this guy who can hoop. Really. You know what I'm saying? He got the shit. He got the sauce. And um, you know, we ended up linking up during high school and we we've been locked in ever since. And actually recently we've been really learning that we are we should be more in tune with each other than we even realized. A lot of our a lot of our game that we've been giving each other, just a few times that we've seen each other throughout the past three years, every time we see each other, it's about being locked in, about some oh, shit. Mm. I'm doing the shit we don't supposed to be doing. But every time we see each other, we're supposed to be we're, mm. we're locked in about some shit. Right, and it's right. game, game, game. And that's why I really wanted to to um excuse me, Sean is my brother. We are locked in nonstop. Like this is my right. not only my my brother, but my best friend. You know right, what I mean? Right. And this is game on game on game. And it feels good to have family. Right. camaraderie with that it's like so he's a blessing to me too so i actually had them meet up before this is a big introduction but but i actually had them meet up before we all met up before a couple months ago sat down had a nice little hours. dinner yeah yeah a couple hours had where was some it nice at? drinks downtown so, naperville Down- yeah downtown naperville oh, okay. some, some spot okay. we had a nice little spot had some drinks we had, um, had some nice food talk just game game mm. game 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 for hours we're all in the same realms, just talking business, business right. credit and whatnot. Right. And you know, one of the things that was unfortunate for me was like, my boy wasn't there. And I know you are in the same realm in this conversation and right. we all are, we just needed to get this going. So when I asked you for it Friday, yeah, I just really yeah. needed it to happen. So I'm glad there you we go. made it happen. We made it happen. Today. We made it happen. Appreciate y'all yeah. fellas, man. Appreciate y'all fellas. So, we talk, so, so it's actually interesting that we're bringing that up because business credit is something, you know a little bit about business credit, I would imagine, right? A little bit. Yep. That's what I'm about to say. Right. He actually knows a lot of it, y'all. I'm going to ask, I'm because I'm, I'm starting that, that world right now. Mm. So I'm really going to shut the hell up, which is going to be hard for me because I know I like the topic. <laughs> and I'm going to really let you put me on some game and because I'm really just starting that with the LLC. And I know that's where it starts. So please. Talk to the people, tell them what you're about, and please save my life. Gotcha. <laughs> so again, yes, my name is Lionel Holmes. Um, yeah, you know, my passion uh, over the last couple of years has just been uh, credit, business funding, you know, entrepreneurship. That's been my passion, my goal. Um, and it's just been about, you know, trying to bless as many people as I can to kind of get over that hurdle and step into that same space. Like a lot of us want to be entrepreneurs. We want to make money on the side. Um, but we don't have a blueprint and we don't have anyone in our family who even has an LLC. So how are we supposed to, you know, even know how to do do that and get it done? So um, my business model just came from there. Um, the way it started is uh, I really fell in love with real estate. Um, and then right before the pandemic, I had a, a, a pro- handful of properties in, on the south side and the west side locked in. And uh, the bank shut everything down. We're not giving nobody money. And I'm like, man, if I had a couple hundred thousand dollars on the side and credit, mm-hmm. I could still right, make right. these moves. Um, so I really started researching just, you know, what is it about? You know, I tried to apply for a credit card in my business name and got denied. And I'm like, what I get denied right. for? Did, or did you have good personal credit? I thought it was good. It was it was in the mid 600s. So I thought, you know, that's, you get some, uh, yeah. I can get something. Yeah. And once I really started looking into it, it's like, OK, these banks, they they even though you have a business, they expect your personal credit to be a certain way. For you to be able to, this especially funding. in the beginning too, right? Exactly, because you're not making any money. So if you have, if you can't show, hey, I've been making two hundred thousand dollars a year, what else are you going to show them? You got to show them what you've done personally. So they want to see your personal bills, how you can leverage your own 
personal credit, how responsible are you with your personal life before they give your business any money? And once I mastered that, um, my first business funding play for myself, I got myself like $130,000, $140,000. And I was like, wow, this was in one night. <laughs> this is in one night. Right. I could do this over and over and over. So I just started locking in mm -hmm. and uh, just kept just kept piling on information. And then from there, it's just been, I'm probably sitting on close to a million dollars in between personal and business funding right now. So I could literally do whatever I want, invest in whatever I want, crypto, whatever it is, and, and not hurt myself personally because I have it in my business name. Right. You know, that's interesting because, uh, so, you know, I got this brand that's called Cares None. Hey, shout out to it. And it's actually, uh, <laughs> it's actually doing, it's, it's doing well as far as the branding. As far as what it means and, and, and then the, the, the audience, I feel like the branding's good. But I need to scale it to really make it legit, legit. And I'm like, well, what's, I need at least, like at least $50,000 on the low end to really scale a business correctly, get the right people in play. That I'm like, so, well, how am I going to do that? Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, I think business credit might be the, the quickest way, you know what I'm saying, without maybe getting invested or something. So then I started doing my research, and then it's just funny because then you were like, wait, my guy is, a, is on that right now. Guru. <laughs> right, right. So I'm like, okay, that's perfect because I've been really doing a deep dive. I've been uh -huh. on YouTube, yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, videos, yeah. set up the virtual, uh, virtual uh, address. The virtual yeah. address. Yeah, so like, yeah. I, I'm taking the steps, but it would just be nice to now that I, instead of seeing somebody on YouTube, that they in, they in the podcast right now. And, right. and those, are, those are the steps. I mean, the first thing is getting the LLC, right? A lot of people, the, the, the first mistake they make is, they say, uh, I'll get the paperwork done when I got everything else figured out. You don't have to have everything figured mm -hmm. out. You don't have to have the logo. You don't have Talk to, to them. all you That's need is a name start. and whatever idea you want to do. Um, but a lot of things, what I teach to, to my people is um, make your name, number one, make your name something that's generic, right? You can do anything under an LLC. But if you put trucking or real estate at the end of that name, now you're putting yourself in a bubble to where if you go to the bank and say, hey, I want to start a podcast, but your name has real estate in it, they're going to be like, what are you talking about? Are you even know the podcast space, right? right. Uh, but also some of, these, uh, some of these different wordings on your name is, will put you on a high-risk industry list. So real estate, um, stocks, anything that says financial, if you put any of that on your name, the banks will automatically red flag you as a high risk mm. and either deny you or just give you a way lower amount than they'll get the next person. So the first thing I recommend is just putting something – you know, either just make it a generic name or say something solutions or enterprises. No one knows what that is. Oh, as far as the name? As far as your actual okay. name. So if my name, for example, one of my businesses is uh, LJ Business Solutions. It's named after my daughter, Lila Janae. Mm. You don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, no one has solutions. So I can do, yeah, I I got got solution solution for your ass. <laughs> I, I can do real estate under there. I can do trucking. I can do vending machines. I can do whatever I want because you don't know what it is. Right. So I didn't put myself in a bundle. But once you, uh, once you get that... You get your virtual address. The reason you get that is because these banks will Google your business. If they Google your business and they see a home address, mm -hmm. how are you a legitimate business if you're running business out of your home? Now, things are different now because of the pandemic. Everyone's working from home. But again, the people that work at Walmart, they don't work from home. They still have a brick and mortar building, right? So having a virtual address will give you that professional look. If someone Googles you, they see a big brick building. They see a sweet name on, or number on your business, and it just kind of makes you look more professional. Uh, next thing you do is get a professional email address. Don't use, you know, Gmail. Hot, hot, <laughs> hot cakes at yeah. gmail.com, right? Cakes. That's, Big that's dicks the, at AOL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> AOL. This is high school. Man. High school. Man. So you get your professional. It want to be something with your name. So it's info at the name of your business or your name at the name of your business.com. It looks professional. Um, other than that, you get those couple of things. You can, you can work on the website, but you don't have to have it. But just make yourself look professional. Once you do that, the banks will give you whatever you ask for, even if you just opened up the business yesterday. And then, it, so, so what I was understand, my understanding is, before you just just don't go straight to the the big Chase Inc. cards to start off at certain tiers, right? There's certain tiers of cards you should apply for in, in a certain row, so then you'll have a better chance of having open lines of credit to get to the next tier. So there, there's there's two parts with that. Um, there's net 30 and vendor accounts that will help you build and establish business credit. Personally, I believe in working on both, right? So if you you can do that and build business credit, but they're still going to look at your personal credit report when you go to Chase or anywhere else to get real actual cash. Those vendor cards, you can go to Sam's Club or go to Lowe's and get a card in your business name, but that's not cash that you can use anywhere, right? But if you want to go to Chase Bank of America, they're going to run your personal credit. So while you're establishing your business, 
establish your personal credit, get it to where it needs to be to, to get approvals. And um, just to kind of list off what you need to get approved, you should have at least a 680 credit score, um, at least 10 open accounts. You should have at least four years what of that age. What you mean, 10 open accounts? Talk so, to other people. So if you have only two mean? or three accounts, is that really enough for the bank to know if you're responsible with money or not? No. So they want to see you with a mixed use of accounts. So they want to see you with credit cards. Maybe you have an auto loan. If you have a mortgage, that's great. That's good debt to have. Um, they want to see you with different types of debt to be able to show that you're responsible with paying things on time. Um, you want to have at least four years of age. Again, if you only had established credit for four months, four months is not enough time for them to trust you with $100,000, right? Um, you want to keep your inquiries as low as possible underneath four. Um, and then you want to have your own personal credit cards under 30% utilization. If your personal credit cards are maxed out, they're going to automatically view you as a high-risk person because you might just take their money, max it out. Who knows if you could pay them back, right? So, But if you hit those tiers, you can go in day one and get actual business credit cards, unsecured credit cards, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 limits to actually scale your business while you're building your business and your brand at the same time. Is, as long as you're per, you can personally guarantee it, personal with good guarantee credit. it exactly. Now a lot of people don't want to personal guarantee it, but you know because you are personally responsible for it if you don't pay it back. But if you're trying to scale your business, you're gonna pay that back, right? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna really get a twenty thousand dollar credit card and just blow it and not pay it back? You, you you should be responsible enough to pay it back anyway. So right, yeah. Credit was a uh, that was a thing for me personally that I didn't understand the significance of it when I was younger. And my grandmother, bless her heart, she's going to see this. <laughs> Care's done. Uh, her advice at the time was like, don't get a credit card. You know, and, and, and I had that fear kind well, of. Well, credit card's the devil to, to, yeah, to the older especially generation. especially the older generation, yeah. right? Because so, they one's taught about it. Yeah. When did we ever learn about credit? So to them, all they know is they got a credit card and they messed it up. Right, they that's, right. Get that's all they think. Exactly. But if you understand it and you learn how to leverage it, I mean, you never had to touch your personal cash. You never had to use somebody else's money. Leverage it, they say. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it, and it's funny because that for years, I'm like, I just won't touch it. I'm not, and then it, it just kind of taught me just to like the, to stay away from financing, just to because it's, it's you can fuck it up. That right. was like the the energy that I got, and and I think that that was coming from a good place from them, because like you said, that that's what they had went through. But that was just the energy, so I was always kind of like, eh, I didn't really take it serious enough. So right. then I go to college. And you know they got the kiosk. Hey, who trying to get this Bank of America <laughs> card? You already know how it is. You know, it's TCF me Bank. dumb and me thinking, <laughs> oh, you know what? I need three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? So then I, I was like, all right, right now, yeah, we'll give you two hundred dollars right now. Did the shit. Tried to take take it serious for about three minutes, and then it was like, oh, I can't do it, and didn't understand like how much that's fucking me at the time. Yeah, it did because it doesn't seem like it is because it's right. not like it's not like somebody you know physically touching yeah, you. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, oh, it did not knowing the importance of your credit. And I just, for years, so finally, I'm like, I got to get this shit together. And then fucked it up again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like, so what the fuck is the problem? And, and I was, wait, and, and I was on it. I was on oh, it like shit. I knew how serious it was. And then shit got out of, out of hand. And then, then I got, I got mm -hmm. like this snowball effect. And then it got to this like, well, fuck it now. Then I came across Cares None, the brand. And then once I'm like, wait a minute, I can actually, this is real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like right. motherfuckers giving me lots of money right. to pay for this. So I'm like, I need to make this shit. I need to figure this out, and I need to have my credit in, in order. Right. And this is before I even knew to go to credit for to get big money. This was just as a businessman, you probably want good credit. Right. 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 This is just, just trying to establish yourself. Yeah, right. Like, just you know, if you're establishing like, cash now, let's get the LLC. What does a person do when they get an LLC? If you're establishing, right. Yeah. Yeah. So this I'm like, so together. I got it. So and then I want to make sure cares not. I want to give it the the most opportunity to win. Right. So I'm like, you probably should get your credit together. Mm -hmm. So then, and so now, I'm, and now I have something attached to it because I'm like, this is my life. So I, if as long as I do this shit right, I got the like the blueprint. Well, not the blueprint, but like the proof of concept, right, which right. is big, and an audience. So I'm like, I got proof of concept. I got audience. Now I just got to take this shit serious, pretty much. Right. Yeah. And it was about making a decision. Exactly. And your shirt. Shout out to your <laughs> shirt. Right. What's that? Entrepreneurship is a choice. Woo! But it comes down to a choice, though. Yeah. So, so yeah. tell me, what is it about this situation that you absolutely love? Um, so I've always had a passion for just uh, finances and just learning about finances. Um, you know, numbers has always been a thing of mine. So, uh, like like most of us, you know, I come from a family that didn't have a, 
uh, a great understanding about business or finance, credit, um, or any of those things. So that was that was something that I kind of started on, the, you know, on, the, on this whole journey. Yeah. Um, How old were you when you say you started that? So I would say probably 19, you know, yeah. because you, you know, you out. You know, out of high school, I'm in college at the time. You were 19 thinking about finances? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. different. Y'all, y'all circumstances, so, though, life, life circumstances, though, gets you there, you know? Yeah. And, and luckily, I had that advantage of starting early. But, you know, because you start in the race from, you know, 50 yards behind, mm. of course, you know, I, you know, you always feel like you can be, you could have been farther than where you were had you had more guidance, more, more of those things. But I just didn't know where to turn. But luckily, we in this you know, YouTube generation. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, so yeah. Lot, we have sure. access to a lot of information, even just like eBooks, um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, like podcasts, like you name it. So yeah. uh, just just seeking that information, I was slowly able to kind of learn. And, and I was I was doing things like I had got a secure credit card at 19. And, you know, I ended up closing and stuff like that, but I had no idea, but I took good care of it. So then once I learned more about it and I learned how I could, you know, start to build off that and get, you know, non-secure credit cards and um, just different accounts and things like that to, to help boost my credit and also provide some um, financial flexibility for myself. Uh, that's literally what I dived into. And I did it so much while I started doing like credit churning and that was getting me through. Credit what? Credit churning. So that was getting me through college. So I would get that's a credit, credit card okay. um, and like, you know, they get like cash offers for these credit cards. So like you have to spend like 500 uh, and you or a thousand, you get 300 back or something mm -hmm. in a statement. And then you get, um, you know, like 0% interest for like 18 months and things mm -hmm. like that. So I would literally, I have, you know, college uh, books to pay, things like that. Yeah. I'm putting myself through school. So if I know I got to spend a thousand dollars within the next two months, I go get a credit card. You know, I set up everything, pay everything down, make my utilization mm -hmm. look good, get my number where I want it to be, go get a credit card. Um, you know, I would compare cards, uh, see what's the best offers out there, go apply for that card. Most likely I would get it because I put myself in that position just mm -hmm. from the research, uh, just make sure my utilization was low, make sure I didn't have any, any inquiries because that would really only be the time I would do the inquir inquiries. And then um, I would get that card. I pay for my books, housing, you name it, whatever. Get all get those that, reward points. Get that reward points. Yeah. 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 You know, I live by that rewards yeah. and cash I, I want some rewards. <laughs> <laughs> all the rewards I, and cash back, you, back, Tom, baby. you get some rewards? Of course. <laughs> 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 I get so, some rewards. So I would carry that balance pretty much for the life of the 0% interest, but I don't believe in paying interest because I'm trying to, you know, gain, gain that advantage and you lose the – the premium of those rewards and all that stuff if you're paying it all back in interest over time. So uh, I would do that. And by the time, you know, I come up with an influx of cash, whether it was a refund or this or that, and then I would pay it off and wash, rinse, and repeat, do the same thing over. So, like, every time I had good. to spend a big chunk of money, I would at least be getting, you know, 30% back or so return on that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, basically at a discount. So I was just right. kind of just living life through that discount. Yeah. And people that, people don't realize that funds your lifestyle. Yeah. It funded my whole lifestyle, too, the whole credit card system since I was about your age when I first started getting credit cards. I mean, it was, it was, just, it was just, it just seemed the right way to slow down life a little bit. You know, <laughs> it was like, let me let me just get a little wiggle room and then have something steady that I can put on auto pay that I can, Facts. you know, just pay off easily. I ain't got to think about, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And and um, I just did that for like 10 years and I and I was living my life and it was helping me live an even better life than paying my own money. Like why? And it got me to thinking my whole life, like, why would I spend my money first before I spend anybody or, you know, why would I spend my money first? Instead of spending somebody else's money. Yeah, you funded so many trips with that. I'm I, sure you got so many rewards back, and that was free. That easy, was free trips and easy, everything like that. So there's easy. no benefit of using your personal money. Like yeah. I don't. I'll be honest with you, I don't know where any of my debit cards are. I, I, bro, I have a you hard time. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> I have a hard time. We got a. Uh, we just signed up for Crypto.com, right? Because uh -huh. we get into the crypto space. So it comes with this debit card. When you stake four thousand dollars into the Crypto.com coin, which is called Crow, you it comes with a debit card, right? And the debit card is going to give you 3% cash back every time you spend on it. And it's going to give you that in Crow. So you get an already investment right. as soon as you spend on the debit card. However, my nigga, <laughs> that's a debit. I can't we don't just, do those. I can't, I'm trying to, I'm like, man, what would, what would I spend my money on first before I give it to, like, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard for me, even though I know this is me investing into a stock when I spend it. You're already percent. programmed to be But like, I'm so like, yeah. I can't, I gotta, I can't gotta spend somebody else's money though. Like, 
it don't it's make just, sense I mean, to spend my money first. It's, 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 it's the person it's too much out it. here. The security behind using a credit card over your debit card. If you do, if you use a debit card and someone steals yeah, that card true. number, or you lose the card, they can. That's your actual cash that you worked for. Like that's your check, your W two check that somebody's stealing. If somebody gets your credit card number, all you I'll do is call it. them, they erase it off the account, and give you that balance right back. Great relationship with Capital One. So why, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Tom, why, why Tom not? what's your what's your relationship with the uh, credit cards and whatnot? What's the what's what would you what do you guys think? I don't uh, think you fuck with it at all. I don't, don't think you know what. No, I'm about no. To, he's a Chase kind of guy. Well, I mean, okay, so <laughs> well, well, wait, Fargo. Wait, wait. So the part of me wants to say, I think you don't fuck with it. That the, there's a part of me that wants to say that you have you, you're probably on top of your shit. Oh, of course. But I know he's on top of. He, his just, shit. he just like, told us his LLC has an LLC. So all right, that already okay. told me. Uh, he was on, for was for on two top. reasons, one because I see that you're what you're doing. So personally, but then two, skin color. I would argue more often than not, <laughs> from my experiences in life, <laughs> white motherfuckers got better credit typically than non-white motherfuckers. From, from what I've seen, at least that's right, what's right, in right. the air. Well, okay. I stopped myself from uh, commenting <laughs> really about like, your grandma telling you not to get a credit card because like I had a, I think I had like a first checking account or, or some sort of account like linked with my mom like at her first bank, and so like somehow that's like my first established like bank account. Um, you know, I had like a cell phone bill in my name. And so no, my, my credit is solid. And I don't want to say like I got like a proper education on that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, I was told just pay that shit off. Like, you know, don't use too much of it. And then before you know it, and I had, I had a car loan, like you said, have a couple of different things that you're working into. And uh, yeah, it's at a good place now. I don't I don't utilize it probably as much as I could. No, nor do I have like things that I'm like dying to do with it right now. But right. Um, yeah, I, I'd say I'm pretty on top of it. Not like I have like deep knowledge or like yeah. I do it for like sport or anything like that. Um, <laughs> no, and that's I, the thing. I, I do, do it for, for sport. sport. Me too. I li- I when say, I say I, I research that. and I'll be up if I can't sleep at two in the morning, I'm on YouTube online like Googling different credit unions. Who's giving what? Who will give you a uh, pre-approvals without an inquiry, right? There's some right. banks like, for example, we all got, who got iPhones? You got iPhone? I do, I do. So the Apple I card. Those two, those those so, so, so y'all can't be- benefit y'all can't benefit now. from this gym real quick. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna have I, 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 I refuse. Want <laughs> I want, they almost got me too. I almost so got y'all me. can't benefit. So a- Apple has a credit card. It's a it's like Apple a metal pay. card. Uh, yeah, you get it's a link well, to your phone. You can use the Apple Pay on it, you can get the actual credit card. But they will actually pre approve you without an inquiry. If you go to Chase anywhere else and you do that application, you're gonna get an inquiry and you might get denial. Now you just wasted an inquiry, right? That joint right there. So you can actually <laughs> apply and to tell you what they will approve you for right back. then and there on the spot. So if you apply and you see, and they about to give me $8,000, all you gotta do is hit approve. Now you know you're gonna get approved for $8,000. Yeah, like you guaranteed. With no inquiry. Guaranteed, but also, yeah, with them, you can actually hide the inquiry. So- Why is the inquiry so important? Explain that. So the inquiry is important because it, it, it puts you out as being thirsty for credit. Yeah, right. Risk. So every time you apply mm. for something, you get a hard inquiry. If you apply for six credit cards today and you get six inquiries on the same one bureau, that next credit card that you apply for, they're going to look at that and be like, you just applied for six credit cards. You're probably broke. You're struggling during the pandemic and you're just trying to get as much money as you can <laughs> you to pay your thirsty. bills. Your hairline you're not going to pay us back. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not going to pay us back and we're going to take that loss. It's, it's funny because it's like a catch 22. Like they want to give the money to people that don't, they don't think don't need it. You know? Exactly. Uh, they want to get, if you, if you really need and you desperate, then a lot of times you're a bad investment in their eyes. So um, yep. that's br- basically what it comes down. You got to so be the, risky enough. You know? Exactly. Risky but my enough. recommendation is research where that bank pulls from. Right. So if you want to get three credit cards, first off, in terms of business credit, you can you can dispute that inquiry off because it's not attached to your personal account. So if you get a personal Apple card or a personal Chase card and that account shows up, then you go and dispute the inquiry off. It's a chance they're going to close that account because you can dispute it off by just saying I didn't authorize this inquiry. So first off, being in the credit space, nothing even has to be on your credit report. That's an option. The credit bureaus are supposed to call you and say, hey, did you apply for this? Can we put this on your account? Which they don't. So you can dispute anything off your report. But if you go and dispute an inquiry off that's attached to an actual account saying it shouldn't be there, that bank might close that card down. So if you got a $20,000 card, they're going to close it down. If it's a business credit card, exactly. But if it's a business credit card, there's no account showing up on your personal report. Your business credit accounts do not show up on your personal report. it's his own person. Exactly. It's his own entity. So you can go and apply for 10 different credit cards today and then dispute the inquiries off tomorrow, your credit report is right back to where it was and you got $200,000 for your business. 
Let me ask you this. Sorry, maybe tell me how, what's your opinion on this. When you dispute something, to do it in writing. I've heard that that was a, that was a, that could be a thing to help out. It helps um, only because the bureaus hate credit repair companies. So if your letter looks real professional, they're gonna think that you're getting credit repair and automatically throw it in the trash. If you write it out, excuse me, if you write it out, they know it came directly from you. Now that's crazy. That why would they hate people trying to fix? It's a money game. Yeah, everything a, everything about game. credit is a money game. Bankruptcies actually don't even get sent into the credit bureaus. There's a company that fishes that information out and sells it to the credit bureaus. If you if you have a bankruptcy, you can you can send a letter to that court and ask them, hey, did you send this? They'll send you a letter back, flat out, flat out, and say, no, we do not report this information. It's, this is public records. We don't report this to the credit bureaus. It's a money game. That's all it is. Everything everything <laughs> comes around money. You know, and it makes sense. So we've been talking about this whole uh, concept of money being energy, right? And Because it makes the most sense. It's supposed, you know, tell me what you feel about this, that money is the highest form of energy that human beings can channel. So I like, for instance, I go and dig holes for a living. And no, I no, for instance, let's talk about how this how we got to this podcast, how we got here. Okay, this, okay, damn, you fucked up my name. I'm sorry, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, know, I, just I said, was, I was on to something. I'm not, I'm sorry. No, no, I was gonna make the analogy. This is better. Like we had a situation here where we started the Cares None podcast at his place. You know what I mean? And he was doing all the work. He had the camera. We paid like twenty five hundred for it. You paid twenty five hundred for it, excuse me. And then um set the, set everything up. And it was a lot of pain points that we were getting through. Like mm -hmm. we couldn't have certain people on because we couldn't figure out technical shit. You know, a lot of different things. And it was beginning beginning to be frustrating. We were doing it. It was learning a lot. But when he put his money towards Tom, who had the setup, he solved the pain point. He solved the. And then it was a, it was a smarter energy because. So so then I invested, so he gets paid a fee that he deems is, is what, and then I choose whether or not I believe is worth it or not. Facts. And then based on his life energy being put into there, into this setup, that exponentially makes what I'm trying to do better too. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's a better use of my energy. And so in my personal life energy is my brand, where I get money from my brand, right? Mm -hmm. So then where do I put that energy? So then it's like, I need to put it back into the brand and that's what putting it to him right. and it's done because he puts his life energy into that. It's a cycle and it goes right. back and forth. So it okay. seems like when you, when, when you say it's a money game, for me, because I'm, I'm trying every time I think about money, I try to think about energy. Right. Like, literally every time. So I told you I was doing DoorDash to make extra mm -hmm. money. And then I'm starting to see how, how much energy are you expending and how much, how much money are you getting back in return? So I kind of put that in the same bucket as opportunity costs. Mm. because everything you're doing, um, you're not, you know, because you're doing that, you're not doing a million other things that you could have been doing. So wh whatever you're spending your time doing, are you really, is that really maximizing your time? Mm. Or could you just pay somebody else to do that, save a bunch of time, and, you know, and money in the long run because you spent that time doing something else that, you know, grew your business faster or made mm -hmm. you more money. You know money. what's crazy? We just said that in the elevator and you wasn't even in there with us. That's crazy, right? <laughs> on the, on the I was way, just on the way here, we that. was like, you know what? Like, yeah, like pay somebody that's an expert in their field, like mm -hmm. with me shooting content. I can, I, I do technical, I'm an IT also, so I do the computers and all that. I can edit videos, but why would I spend an hour editing a video when I could pay somebody 20, 30 bucks and have them knock it out in 10 minutes and I could post it? And, and, and that's even, and I would say even on a, on a smaller scale, I can edit the videos too, but he would know how to do it. So let's, let's use right. the real life example exactly. of what happened. Please. So I only had, so the pain point I had to solve first was the camera. Mm -hmm. Cause I had a nice little DSLR camera, but it only went 30 minutes. So I'm like, well, that's a pain point. Cause I want to have a podcast that's more about an hour, hour and a half. Right. So then I had to buy, I had to put my life energy now into that camera. So now that solved the pain point of longer than half hour and it gave me a better quality. Mm -hmm. And and it was it was a, it was a nice jump in quality of the podcast. But then I have to now I have to edit it myself mm -hmm. the first time, and because there was only one camera and I was trying to do the shots, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I didn't really know what the <laughs> fuck I was doing. But, but, you know what I'm saying? I wanted I wanted I like the shots. Give me a couple shots. So I'm like I want my shit to look as you know I, hey, want, some nice to... I want some nice production. Right, we right? here. So then I had to put it in this in the Adobe Premiere, mm -hmm. and then I had to take the same clip and then make three different clips of it. So I had to render it three different times. Probably there's a better way to do this is my point. So I'm about to say how, ex how ridiculous I was <laughs> and then why it makes sense to, so I took, I had to render three different times. So that took 
three, four hours in right. itself right there. And it's 4K, so it's even longer. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like sometimes it'd be a whole day. I go to sleep, so I don't get it done right away. <laughs> right. That's like uploading on YouTube back oh, in the day. Yeah, 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 wait, yeah, yeah. That's wait, just wait, still wait, 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 wait. Hold on, man. I want to tell you all my problems, my pain points. got to tell them. So then I'm like, bet. So then uh, so I finally get it done. I'm ready. Then I have to like, oh, I got to actually do it. Right? So then I sit down and I start doing it. Well, I didn't know that at the time that there's a, what's called a multi-cam feature. So you can just go back and forth and, and then mm-hmm. select it. So what I was doing before I learned that mm-hmm. was going back and literally splicing mm. from each freak, you know, from each, uh, what, do you call, what do you call it? Frame. Or... frame. What is it, yeah. frame? Yeah. I mean, the time frame? So there's like, t- you know what I mean? Like there's one, two, three. Oh, yeah. so he, know, he knows the official term. Though. And I'm, <laughs> yeah, and I, and I'm <laughs> clipping it and, and, I, and it's working, but I'm like, damn, that takes a lot of it, time. This can't be it. This can't I, be like, how they do it. A lot of time. Right. For, for, and, and I didn't mind in the beginning because it was my passion and, I, learning I want, and I'm yeah, learning yeah. it. Right. But right, then I'm like, right. wait a minute, this, the whole time thing. And this is actually me and D were talking about that. And, you know, I'm, I'm really deep mm-hmm. into learning how to be an entrepreneur and self development, self introspection, self mastery. That's what I'm really on. Yeah. But, but I'm starting from the, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm coming like from the back. Right. Like, who's saying that? Was that you earlier saying staying 50, 50 that yards? Back? That was you. Yeah. So finally, I'm like, all right. What am I going to do about this? Mm. And we start. I started learning that what rich people do, or how about this, more successful, successful wealthy people think, is about their time, not about the money. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Right. So that, and I and I keep reading. I keep. You know, we talked about who we who we fuck with. Uh, I don't really fuck with them personally, but I listen to them, and they all they all do things to to not waste their time. And then I realized, damn, I waste a lot of my time. Like, I have way more time than I thought I did. If, if you really, on some honest, you know, logging what you're doing, mm-hmm. like you're probably wasting a lot of time. Yep. Yeah. So then me and De'Ari started chatting, or we, we've known each other a while, but then he came across this idea of, of like, well, one, mentorship, but then also, two, who, not how. Yeah. Like, you start, like you had, it was the first little clip, and then I had read a book called Who, Not, not How, how. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. ironic as hell, because yeah, yeah. I was in the... Uh, the day, the morning meetup. Yep, that's where yep. I heard the book. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Right. And then you were learning that too. And then yeah. that, that was the whole understanding of I was at Northwest our time. Mm-hmm. Sure with that, I had some mentorship. Got Have you read sure. that book? Nah. It's it's, it's a, well, I mean, you already know the concept, but it's for anybody who who needs help understanding how to how to still make moves because sometimes as a, if, let's say you, you're creating something that like to do it all yourself. I know what that feels like mm-hmm. in the beginning because yeah. you, you want to make sure it's right. Like if you love That's it. That's your baby. Right. right. But the smarter thing to do, like logically yes. speaking, is to take your life energy, however you make the money, and put it into someone who puts their life energy into that task. Right. And it, Yes, absolutely. So I was doing it myself, putting all my time, my life energy now, and not getting paid for, which is okay in the beginning because I was trying. But I'm like, that is it. I'm, I'm expending too much of my life energy into something that's not bringing me back a return. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I'm getting some of the return because of the branding, but right. I, I can see there's a way to exponentiate mm-hmm. this whole goddamn thing. So I'm like, <laughs> bet. All right. So I'm like, well, I need to start doing something with the podcast. Right. And we and then 2020 happened, so we were doing a lot of uh, a couple of zooms. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, yeah. this is better, but I don't really feel like I, I didn't feel the quality with right. it. Right. But but it's, it's a good way to get other people on. So I got right. some cool people on. Long story short, I'm like, dude, we gotta find. So I started googling, you know, podcast. I'm like, there's gotta be one of those. Mm-hmm. I'm like, there's gotta be. And then and that's there what. Was. And then that's hey. how Nova, and then Nova hey. Digital came up, and then he had a picture of the setup, and I was, and I, no joke. So this is actually okay. Okay. I'm about okay, to give okay, you some okay, hashtag okay. ad this whole this whole segment. The right, whole right, right. the whole picture, I'm like, it just looks clean, quality, and fresh quality, what, which is what I wanted. And, and listen, mine was good for what it was yeah, and where absolutely. it came from. But then you have to scale life. Like I don't like. I'm like I got to keep going forward. Okay, mm-hmm. what's the next move? What's mm-hmm. the next move? Mm-hmm. And there's probably something better than this one day. I don't know. But the point is, or maybe we coming up together. But I'm like, I got to keep it going. So put your energy into other people who have put their life energy into that thing you need. Right. And we had somebody, I don't know if you know this, we had someone we tried out before you. I think I think I did know that. I think I, I was oh, told that. Oh, but it was I like, it that, was right? kind of like a, I don't want to say half-ass, but it was like, no, 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 no,
a uh, like a music studio kind of thing. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, I think yeah, it it was, which, was, which is like a totally common thing. Okay, but like, listen, if you're a recording studio, you're like, fuck it, take on a podcast. The, the thing that was sexy to me was the fact that I didn't want to have to focus on. I didn't want to do the switching of the of the shots because I remember how long this shit took me to clip each little piece. I'm like. So I'm like, I got to get someone else to do that, right. you know, like my own Jamie, so to speak. So then, and another thing, too, as far as the technical shit, because when I was doing it with just me and you at the crib, I got to make sure that the camera red light is still on. A couple yeah, of so times you can focus and shit. Like, you're not even concentrating on right. what you're trying to do. Like, and, yeah, yeah. And, 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 then, mm -hmm. and then I have the laptop trying to see the forms right, and right. shit. So I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the laptop. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm looking at the time. And, then, and I was wasted. Right. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I was I drunk. All that, yeah, because we were super high. I stopped drinking now, but I was super high and drunk the whole like I'm mean, out of my mind, and I'm doing all this shit, doing pretty good too. I, actually, I know. I actually proud good. of myself a little bit, uh, and the content was awesome. And then, and then the whole shit, and we record the whole thing, and then look at it. And the whole shit didn't record great, at all. Great, great episode. Great like, episode. Like at least two the or three times shit. that it happened. The greatest shit record. we've ever said. Like something happened. It just something happened. <laughs> something happened. We're like, you know what? We got to. That, that that's the one that's going viral. That, right? that, that was the one. That was the one. And then there was one that was, uh, it, it came out good, but then like one of the mics didn't, was like yeah. fucked up. And I was like, damn. Yeah, and then I, I feel bad. One, because I this energy that I put into that. Mm -hmm. My life mm -hmm. energy that I just mm -hmm. put into that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then two, some of their life energy. Because they was there. And I feel like I wasted their energy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. You know, and then a couple times of that, I'm like, I just want to upgrade. It's time to upgrade. And then that's when you came. And to yeah. me, it's, it's substantially. Save it. So I get to save, I get to have a better podcast. Right. right. Which Ooh, is the content is, is more realistic. And then, and, then, and then I get to feel proud of it because of how he put his life energy to it. Mm. And what's crazy about you, Tom, is you put, <laughs> you put life energy into this, but you have other features, other things that you do that have way more of your life energy, right? Yeah. Like, this is more of like your little side this kind of... This, this, side, this is the side Right, hustle. and, and it, so, uh, it, it says a lot about what you got going on if your side hustle makes me feel that way. Mm. I'm glad, man. I'm, but I got, I got I'm something else. Here. I got something else for you. Go this, ahead. Is, this is where in, in business we got to always think how can we use our skills to make even more money, right? So you can come in here every day and set people up for a podcast, but you got to give up your time every day. But people want to learn it, right? So for me, I'm heavy in mentorships. I probably spent forty, fifty thousand dollars in the last year in mentorships and, and paying for other people's knowledge, right? And their <laughs> systems and ebooks. So you can easily put out a digital ebook how to, to where how to do this shit. exactly how to do this, and then you can make it where you give them a, um, a upsell to where you know here's my ebook of how to set it up, the type of things you should do, how your sound should be. But then you can give them an upsell of cool. Here's my ebook for a hundred bucks, but you can pay another thirty bucks. To get my <laughs> list of all my preferred equipment. Yeah, yeah. Because people right, don't yeah, know yeah, what equipment to get. They right, spend right. so much you money. You just keep doing that. Right there. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. You can we, tell I've done this. You can tell I've done this. You sound like me over here. That's how we talk about it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Hold on. Hold on a second. No, don't put it out there. I'll put it out there. Put it out there. Tom isn't as into the the, the the soul energy of courses and ebooks. <laughs> he ain't sold those. He, yeah. He's not sold. Like, I, to me, it makes too much sense to, to create one piece of digital content. No, it does. It does. I agree with that. And then flip that. I agree with that. Forever. an eight ball. It's just, for whatever reason, <laughs> it doesn't sit well with me. Oh, it, ah, no, you're good. It just doesn't sit well with me for whatever reason. I probably will. It, it, makes, it makes tons of sense. Like a thousand percent, but I. What just, about hiring someone to kind of? I have this. someone now that helps edit some of the episodes and such like that. And to be honest, I'm just waiting to get him in here and to start handing them off. But now that I'm I'm part of this shit, I don't think you'd ever see him. But no, mm -hmm. I'm I'm planning on having somebody else um, help out at some point because it is, like you said, you know, it's a time and energy. You got to come in mm -hmm. here and stuff like that. And frankly, I would be. Not quite making more, but it, I'd theoretically be making more not being here. Right. I mean, right, I know people right, that right. make a hundred thousand a month. Like some of my mentors make a hundred thousand a month just off their ebook. That's Th crazy. They they spend yeah. five, ten thousand dollars a month on ads to make a hundred thousand dollars a month on the ebook. Something that they created one time that they sell over and over and they sleep. So they could be in vacation right now, look at their phone and be like, damn, I just made twenty thousand dollars this weekend. I did a video, it was like, it ended up being like 15, 20 minutes on how I built this space. Mm. And I just posted that shit on YouTube, you know, like, take it. And I had a lot of people like surprised. It, did, it like, did good. I commented on it too. It I think it did yeah, very like well. Four or five K, something like that. But like, people well, on YouTube, comment, that's no joke. And they're yeah. like, well, yeah. I mean, not that it's like a big, but I just, it's, like, better than it's such a niche thing where it's like, you know, people have to be kind of looking for this shit. Right. Um, and so, yeah, maybe if I would have charged some money for that shit. But um, I mean, YouTube yeah. is a way to go, though. That I, I think That's all it. ways are. 
all ways of profit are profitable. I mean, that's mm. with podcasts. People make podcasts <laughs> you know and I'm they'll saying? put it on their website and they'll they'll put it on whatever the Apple podcast thing yeah. is and other different platforms, but then they throw it on YouTube, the joints go viral. That's where their money start coming in. So it's like, you know, you just leverage everything that you can. Mm -hmm. And put your gift out there. That's and, somebody and repurpose that a lot of the content too. That's a, and I and I know I don't repurpose my content nearly enough. Right. And that's where like putting life energy into a, a company that does that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I still and, and listen, I I believe in the who not how concept. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm still beating certain demons of 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 being stuck in the. I'ma do it. So like mm -hmm. it's still you know what I'm saying and I'm yeah, just being yeah, I'm just being yeah, honest yeah. and vulnerable because my whole brand is about transformation so I'm gonna be this is where the fuck I was <laughs> right. this is where the fuck I'm trying to go I've gotten to this point you know and I know I'm and I'm, I don't think there's a, a pinnacle I, you just keep being the best yeah, version of yourself yeah. right but so I'm very honest about it so I'm still breaking like certain things I'll just do it and, I'll I, just, and I'll that's just, what I love about Derek because. He's very big. Every time we talk, it's always about man getting somebody else to do. Oh, it. He's, he's the guru he's, of it. He's, he is no, he's like, the guru. He's tapped. I know you. Wait, this, wait, this nigga said this. He, this nigga literally said, "I." He goes, uh, "What do you say?" He says, "I just want to master doing nothing or something like that." <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want. He's gonna wake up. There's gonna be someone making his. No, he was like, I don't, someone I in the don't kitchen making do breakfast. Shit. Yeah. He goes, oh, I, I, "I want to master that. I don't want to. Why do I want to work?" And he said, and, and then, but he, it, not on some like I want to be a bum type shit. It was like, no, let's manipulate the game of energy. Automated. So it wasn't like it yeah. wasn't oh, yeah. I mean, some idiots gonna be, where, where you? He don't want to work. He he a lazy motherfucker. Lazy. Anyway, here's how you know that that's bullshit. Y'all didn't. I didn't even know this. So we went to his house today, and he had a fucking plaque of of a plaque that said he had the hustle award, mm. and it was the first one created. At they the made school. it for him at high school. Yeah, tell about it. They made it for him. So like, like, and, 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 and so we were talking talk that shit. <laughs> me and Lionel were talking. Uh, he he played. You played some ball back uh -huh. in the day. Are uh, you still? You still play? Like I for still, fun? I still bust ass. Oh, oh right. he still bust ass. Right. 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 I still bust your ass. I don't know if I. I used to be good at two K. I used to be good at two K. So we were talking in the car, and you were saying how? What the fuck was you saying? Damn, what the fuck was you saying? Uh. Hustle Award. Oh yeah, yeah, the Hustle Award. <laughs> good shit. Good um, shit. and how he would always, yeah, good call, good circle back. Yeah, that circle back. And back. how you wouldn't want to guard him, or you wouldn't want to be guarded by because he, he was he always on. He doesn't he get tired. tired. We will. I mean, talking. Well, I said it. First day of practice, and no one's been really working. It's high school, so like, I don't think we even really started getting trained until yeah, junior senior year in high school. So that freshman sophomore year, like, and we were. I was on varsity freshman year, then sophomore year he came right up, and it was we were starting right, mm -hmm. and we both were sophomores, so. This dude never got tired. It's the first day of practice, and we're running for thirty minutes straight. And this guy's winning every single, I gotta get every it. single lap, every single ladder, every single everything. He's first. Defensive and line. And we're down here on, on our knees, like, damn, coach, we're not done yet. And he's standing up <laughs> on the line, ready, ready to go. Like, and I'm go. like, yo, what the hell is up with this dude? But like, it's always been like that. His motor's been different, and you can see it in everything that he does in his life because he doesn't cut any corners. Everything he does, he's gonna figure out how to master it and be the best at it because that's what he's done his whole life. Right. And it's like it's one th so it's one thing you just you refuse to not have the absolute as plush as possible. Yeah, I'm just you know, just plush. and just finding new ways to get more plush. But what my to my point though, so he's this hustle god, <laughs> right? He's this hustle god. But then his his idea in life is to not do shit. He's gonna hustle in that if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fi he's gonna figure out the way to literally do nothing, and and to do it right because he's done everything right. Yes. So, so and so that and that's a that was a powerful thing because I think a lot of people don't even like that's such a, a far fetched to ninety nine percent of people. But then you think, well, that's why ninety nine percent of people ain't. You know what? You actually don't scale until you have that mentality. Exactly. Once you take yourself right. out of it, and it's not like even though this is your baby, at some point you got to put people in, in position that are better at those different type of things to help to. you scale up. When you, re I mean, these these owners of these companies. Once they take themselves out of being the CEO mm -hmm. and hire somebody and pull whoever the CEO is from Pepsi and take them over, mm -hmm. their brand goes up. They remove themselves out of it. But it's hard for people to take out the whole, this is mine. Mm -hmm. Nah, take yourself out and, and cash that check. And you have to be the ultimate ultimate visionary. That's that's what I see, mm -hmm. you know, with you. And that's what I'm ultimately trying to become is where, like, for example, you have Karis Nunn as the brand. Like, if you can just get everything, every vision you have for that company out into the world and you can get experts and whatever needs to be done to mm -hmm. do it it would be the best version of itself that you can make it out to be right and you you can you can go and try to 
learn how to become, you know, um, uh, video clips master. Right. Uh, That's what I'm saying. But it takes time to master, master anything. Right. So, he, so here's so this is a transformation podcast. I want to talk about what people are thinking and then where we need to get them. So it's easy to think, and it's actually I'm gonna just talk for real. I'm having the ping point of, like I told you, I have proof of concept, right? So I've, I was told. I heard somewhere, I forget, maybe it might have been uh, Donnie Wiggins, I think. I think mm -hmm. she might have said this. She goes, when you can sell 20 products to strangers, then you know you have a, like a proof of concept. Because yep. like your friends and family, they'll, they'll, they'll come through in the beginning, and, it, and you better use them as much as you can and get your photo. I'm going to tell you all what I did to get my brand where it's at. And then so your friends and your family are going to, especially, especially if they know you're getting after it. Now, if you out here bullshitting, and, we, and you know if you bullshitting, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like I go hard and I know I'm bullshitting. Mm -hmm. Like, like people look at me and think like, I, like I'm vicious. I'm like, I have like a hundred percent more to go. So mm, I'm like, right. I know there's another That's level. Good though, man. I'm like, That's so good. And, and there's certain things, and I'm, 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 I'm not going. There's certain things that still get in the way, you know. And then and I'm, and I'm starting to learn that it's it's guarding. So my attention. Let me, let me read something that I just wrote. This is how powerful this shit is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I, I want, I want your, right, I want right, your opinion the on Best it. thing I've ever. Read. No, 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 no. I just want your opinion because I'm, I'm try, trying to help motherfuckers. So hold on. Drop the bomb after he dropped this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I wrote this, and I got some. I got a little. I got a little bit of the mm, inspiration for it somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> Wicked plagiarizer. Uh, no, <laughs> that was his work cited. No, it was that. It's pretty much plagiarism. <laughs> hey, that was his work cited. Disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. From somewhere else, that goddamn no, 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 shit. But, like, but uh, so no. Wait, wait, what was it then? I was just like, plagiarizer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Dude, you, you just got to put in your own Read words it. and we good. <laughs> no, because I, I, all I yours. do is focus on, like, this kind of shit. Like, 24-7. As we were talking about earlier, I feel like I'm wasting my time when I'm not focused on something to improve my baby, the brand. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I don't do it, but when I do it, I realize, like, I feel like I'm wasting my time. Right. Even if I still choose to do it. You know, like, if I'm watching a Netflix show, in my heart, I feel like I, sh I shouldn't be doing that. Now, then there's a part of me that goes, but you also is just a you're human being on this earth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, whatever, you're just fucking robot. <laughs> so I, like, I, I battle with that, you know? <laughs> so I battle with that. But then I, you know, and, even, and I, don't, I don't even do a lot of that. But when I do, I still feel like, so how do you personally get over your fun versus what you know you're supposed to do? To be honest with you, I just said it in, every, everything is a temporary sacrifice. So I don't watch TV, even like you know I, I love basketball. So I probably only watch ten games this year. Um, I don't. I I'll put the TV on at night before I go to bed for ten minutes, right? But all that stuff is a distraction, right? Also, like we were talking about, I'm single. I'm enjoying the space that I'm in right now. Like I tell people all the time, I feel like you know how people say like I feel like I'm at a crossroad. I don't know which way to turn. There's no other turns right now. As far as what? As far as my tunnel vision. I'm so locked in with focusing on myself and my brand mm. that there's no distraction. <laughs> so everything that's a distraction from TV to you like- a party, this yeah, yeah, I'm about to bust a nut in this motherfucker. My damn pants is wet. I love that shit. I love that, I love that shit. No, it, real talk though. People don't talk that way. No, I hear you. I hear you. I Especially when you're trying to get it out the mud, yeah. like if you know if if you ain't where you need to be, and then you need to be surrounded by that because and, and so for instance, you'll be hitting me one day. You'll hit me up, and let's just say I was on the phone bullshit, right? And then you'd be like, you know, what's good, bro, bro? Just seeing your name lock you back in. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yep. Mm. Accountability. That's why you're supposed to be in circles like this. Why you're supposed to be in mentorships and things like that. Because when you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it, we on your ass. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up? And my whole thing is, is I never want to be known as the is is the the all talk bum. Like, I don't want to be known as that guy. I want to be known as the guy that's leading. And it's easy to be that, especially with social media right now. It's easy to 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 brand be like, I'm, that? yeah, I'm, I'm doing this, but deep down, you're not doing shit. Especially like you said, you got a whole hundred percent more to go. But yeah, you can easily be like, I'm up. cool here. I'm gonna just leave it where I said. I'm gonna have a podcast and have fun but you're not turning it into a brand that can succeed and that you can be the example for somebody else who's trying to do the same exact thing. That's what we forget about a lot. So when you lock in and you hold yourself accountable and you have other people that's on your ass, right? you lock so in. Like, so so, so here's something that like, so we were sitting down one day and uh, we'll get to that list later. 
we were sitting down one day, and then I, I was like, well, what skill, what skill do I have? I, asked, I, had to, I wanted to ask myself that. What's, what skill am I providing to a market? And then I asked Dee and I asked some of my closest people, like, what is it? And they all said pretty much the same thing. You're like a, like a growth mindset. They all gave me that love. And I'm like, yes, but how do you quantify that? I know, I guess you could, there's certain things you do, like there's life coaching you could do. You could do like uh, motivational speaking, engagement and stuff like that. So I'm like, I, okay, I know that, but what, what, what can I like measure right now? I'm like, and the one thing that I thought I came up with, and I, and I not even thought, I know, the one thing I know for sure that I can sell to a market is how to lose weight. Because mm. I went from 417 pounds mm. to where I am today, which my is- boy like, looks good. Yeah. 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 My boy looking so good. So my point is, and I'm thinking, I'm like, I, I, I know how to do it. Yeah. The True. right way too, and, and maintain it, which is another hard part is the maintaining weight loss. So I'm like, okay, so that's a skill that I can hone in and sell that knowledge. Mm. Yeah, because the people that are struggling with it and trying to get to that point, they don't want to buy something or listen to somebody who's already at the right. Peak. So that's the, so that was the pain point that I was having to convince myself was mm. people we we try especially with like course creators and people in this space. It seems like we we're trying to get from point A to point Z, and the smart way to look at it is, and it's okay to know that to get to point A to point B. Because mm -hmm. some motherfuckers, they don't even know how to even get to where you exactly. at. Exactly, and that's an accomplishment right there. And, and, and I was like, because I'm thinking, well, I'm not even where I want to be, so how am I going to sell that information when I'm not even? But I'm like, but I still know the information. And what if I am just, the way I give it helps somebody? What if it's not right, even the best information, right, but delivery. for some reason, the, the way I delivered it personally, that person fucked with. So I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And then we were talking about creating something one time that I could just... And to do it right, <laughs> create something one time. Because like even so, like I have the clothing brand right now, and I personally press the shit, most of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you ain't bring us shit. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. Uh, so and I personally <laughs> press the shit, and and in the beginning, that's cool because you're trying to get your brand out. Right. And you know that you tell me if I if I had to work 13 hours pressing shirts for my brand, you're gonna do it. But then with this who not how thing, I'm like, well, okay, well, that's still taking up too much of my time. Mm -hmm. On some business shit now, it's like, well, okay, so I can sell a shirt for $33, right? And then I got to do my math, and the shirt costs half, and then and then you're like, okay, well, I'll, I'll make half. So right. I'll make Gas, $15. Shipping, all that shit, yeah. So I'm thinking, all right, well, but if I have another company do it or someone else, it, I'm going to get less profit. That was, that was the mm -hmm. mindset at the time. Well, then why would I do that? Cause I, I and I need fifty, and when you need the money, that, that makes it even more difficult. Right. Cause I'm like, well, I I'd rather have fifteen than nine right now, cause I need fifty than nine. Mm -hmm. But but the mindset shift was, but it'll 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 go up. It'll be much better. It'll scale minus that half. So you're paying so that that let's say out of the fifteen, the seven bucks that I'm no longer getting is going towards an exponentially better, like putting that money into Tom instead of myself. Plus, they push it out faster. So the faster you can get it pushed out, the more you can sell. Opportunity you can't press. Calls. Yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Like you said. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> You're like Kawhi Leonard. I mean, you know, bar, hit us, come in here, hit us with a bar and dip. <laughs> you walk off. <laughs> Drop the mic. Yeah, the mic drop. <laughs> that was, damn. We got to clip that shit. You're right. <laughs> uh, God damn. But that, that was the mental shift. Because I'm like, okay. because I and, and I still do it. Mm -hmm. But I, understand, I still do it. Um, but it's a matter of your time, the, the opportunity cost. Like it doesn't mm. make sense no more. So I'd rather. And then when you're not physically using your life energy to make it, then you can sell the shit for cheaper. Like you said, with exactly. the funnel on the back end. So you put your life energy into the course up front. You do it right, mm -hmm. and you put that life energy. Say it takes you a month. Let's just say it takes you a full month. Boom, you go hard. Twelve hours a day, twelve months. Boom, now it's quality, it's clean. Mm -hmm. Now you never have to put life energy into that product and you could just market that product. Yep. And then once you really get, then you could pay someone to market it right. So you can literally, and now I, I don't think it's as easy as going out because some motherfuckers got four kids and they, you know, they're behind on bills and they got to borrow money for fucking Ubers. So I, you know, <laughs> real talk, these are real, these are real life situations because shit happens, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> motherfuckers ain't got no goddamn money, but then they have an idea. I'm, I'm I, I fucks with personally you. struggling with that right now, but right. Then, and that's where you come in to teach them the business credit. But then that's where I come in is because 
your, your shit so fucked up that you're not even thinking this way because you're so you, mm. your shit so fucked up. So you're not even thinking about business credit. And that's that's what I did. I I, uh, I branched. So I didn't even realize that I was starting a credit repair company. Once mm. I fixed my own credit, um, I started doing family and friends, and I'm like, damn, I'm really like. I got you from 400 to 750, like I'm doing this. So I ended up creating a, a business out of it and having an official credit repair business. Then I hired virtual assistants that I barely, you know what I mean? Mm. Where do you find though? Did, did you go on um, Fiverr? So the first one I got, I got it through someone else. Uh, they live in the Philippines. And then one of my mentors um, plugged me with another guy that has an actual company that specializes in finding you VAs for whatever your field is. Right. So whatever it is, they'll go out, they'll interview them through three, four different waves. Then come to you be like, yo, this is the one. You have your interview with them. You know they're going to be pretty much good. So um, I hired a couple of VAs. Um, I actually just hired another one today. And they run the credit repair business. All mm -hmm. I do is check in with them, have yep. a quick little call. They send me messages mm -hmm. every now and then. Other than that, I don't even have to touch that business anymore. But then I took it from like... I fixed my credit to figure out funding. I figured out funding. Mm -hmm. When I fix your credit, I could do funding for you and charge mm -hmm. your ass a percentage of what you get. Right. So now I got. So now I'm making money off of you from. Let's just start it from the jump. If you you might book a call with me, right? I done made a couple of dollars off that time, or you might buy one of my products, one of my eBooks or something, right? I made money off of you. Then you might come back as a client and want to get your credit repaired. Now I've made more money off of you. Now we fix your credit. You're in the eight hundreds. I can get you two hundred thousand dollars tomorrow. So now I have a funding business. We charge 10% of what you get. So imagine having 500 people as a credit repair client every month, five, 10 people of those graduate from your program. Now you can go get them funding to help them start being entrepreneurs or whatever it is they wanna do, but I'm still charging you for that. But then I take it even deeper than that is, I figure out what is it that you wanna do? Mm -hmm. What field do you wanna be in? What do you wanna be as an entrepreneur? Cool, I know the people that I go to. You want to start a podcast? I'll send them to you. So, anyway, so let me ask you this: Do you think that people don't they they would want to get a business without knowing what it is they want to do? Yeah, that's another that's another service that we provide. I set up LLCs, so it's literally a one stop shop. We'll fix your credit while we get you an LLC. We'll build your business credit while we're fixing your credit. Now you have time to figure out what you want to do. Right. Pick a generic name. Figure out what you want to do. If it's vending machines, I know people who have vending machine courses. Talked about that. Here go their page. Lock in with them. Matter of fact, don't buy their course until next month because it's going to go on sale. And that I goes just... that goes back into <laughs> what we <laughs> talked about is um like you don't have to have everything figured out before you take that first step. Mm. And that was a big thing about what me and Lionel talked about. So, um, you know, last time we talked a few months ago, I hadn't started my, my LLC yet, mm. anything like that. So since then, I've kind of started that journey. Um, you know, and I've created that and I didn't know exactly what direction I wanted to go in it. You started. But now, yeah, and now I kind of have a direction because mm. just taking those steps led me into that position. And once you, know? you get that paper, you like, I got I to gotta do this. Right. right. Like, like I have an actual business. business. So, <laughs> what, what, what's the so, official name of uh, it? We, uh, lead by Creation, LLC. You know mm. what I'm saying? Uh, so initially what I want to do with that is create a online financial literacy course. Uh, so that's currently what I'm working on, uh, getting the funding for that. And I'll be, you know, working with Lion on, on that, I'm sure, going forward. And um, right. as well as doing my web website development. So here's that, another bar for y'all that you might not <laughs> know. You. Um, you get more money from the banks based on your age of your LLC. That's why we say start it right away. Mm. If you've already set it up and it was a year ago, now you really start getting going. You have a year to show on that you've you know, been established. Banks to give you more money. The thing about banks and business is everything is stated income. It's a projection. When you work a W-2 job, you know how much you make to the cent. In business, you can have a good month and you can have a bad month. So on those applications, they don't ask you to put your exact dollar amount. They ask you to put what you ex what you project your business to be. A bank cannot tell you that you don't have a $250,000 brand. So when you fill out that application, put $200,000. That's what right. I expect to make for over this year. Right. Based on that yeah. number, they're gonna give you more money. It's not like a personal which goes into belief too. Exactly. So like believe that shit. Exactly. So now you're just manifesting it. You're putting every. It's just it's just positive energy. But when you go back and also say that you've been in in business for a year or two, they give you more money. But what most people don't know is we were talking about entities and beings. You as a person, you're an entity. <laughs> so you can create. You should create your LLC under your name, Lionel Lamar Holmes LLC. Then I'm 32 years old. I'm a 32-year-old business. So when I go into a bank, I can say my business has been established for 32 years. 
You can't That's tell me that it's not because by law I am a entity. <laughs> Now let me hey, so hey check this out. Talking about language, boy. That's the shit I be talking about. So y'all gonna think this is crazy, but fuck it. I'm, I'm on some Kanye shit. I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm like 98% gonna change my last name to Cares None. Hey, do it. That's do your it. brand. Why, why not? Do I mean, I, I, I'm is willing it? to put it on my body forever. So <laughs> clearly, it's something you serious to me. And it, that would that that's your brand. Would that still work in that situation? Yes. That I've changed it and not, it wasn't since birth. That's your brand. Yeah, you just renamed the business. That's all. Well, because the business just cares not. So mm-hmm. I was re- so, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just changing my name, mm-hmm. but the business will still be cares none. Mm-hmm. Got you. So but I say, as, as I say, to, create a whole nother one. The more you had, the more money you don't get. I have like oh, three. Yeah, that's a good point. My daughter has one. My mom has one. Create as many LCs as you want. Go get funding for every single one of them. Get twenty thousand dollars right for there. all five businesses in one day. Go buy that building or whatever it is you want to do. Do me a favor. Can you? Before, because we gotta get out here soon. It's gonna come in an hour. Can you tell me that story you just told me earlier, if you don't mind, that you said you wanted to talk about with your, with your sister, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because this, <laughs> hey, because I'm about to tell y'all the, 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 the power of environment, which we talk about every motherfucking week on this show. He's about to explain it perfectly. Please tell that story. Yeah, so I, I talk a lot about just like the energy that other people bring into you and how people don't realize that they're being negative or just discouraging you, right? So one thing I'm big on is stop telling your your secrets and what you wanna do to people that aren't on the same page as you. I can come in here and tell y'all what my next plan is and all y'all gonna be like, constructive criticism or be be for real with me. Yeah, right. But you're not gonna tell me it's stupid, right? Hell you're gonna, nah. you're gonna, you're gonna uh, tell me- Be dope, yeah, yeah. 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 do this shit. You're gonna tell me right. a way of how I can I'm make it you. succeed even if you gotta help me tweak it, right? right? But we go to people who aren't in the same space as us hey, I want to do X, Y, Z, and they automatically discourage you because they're not thinking like you. They're not on the same wavelength as you, right? So I remember uh, my freshman year came back from college playing ball, and I had a, my screensaver was a Bentley GT Coupe, and my sister saw it on my computer and was like, why do you have that? And I was like, why not? Like, that's my dream car. I'm going to have that motherfucker one day, yeah, right? That's the one. And Yeah, and she was like, she said something along the lines of like, that's stupid. Like, why, why are you even dreaming like that? In in that moment, I was young enough to think like, wow, like there's some people who literally just don't dream as big as you, and that's fine. And like that's I'm not here to tell fine. everyone to be an entrepreneur right. or to do things. I, the reason I tell you to is because it's extra income. To be honest with you, <laughs> stop relying on one job. The pandemic proved everybody that you shouldn't rely on right. one job to bring bring you money. But people just don't have that vision that you have to where they end up discouraging you from you getting to where you want to get to. I heard this story. It's a real quick one about a giraffe. A giraffe and like a, uh, let's just say a hippopotamus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he heard the story. Everybody. You got it. Uh, what, you've heard this? No. Uh, oh, okay. I'm this excited is, this is a hippo. And it draws. Uh, no, we'll, we'll make it real. A lion. We'll say a lion. So then the giraffe has this long neck and can see over the, over the, the, the Sahara. And he can see, like, he's like, oh, shit. He, he puts his head down to tell the dude at the bottom. He's like, hey, bro, I'm telling y'all, I can see the good shit over there, the, the promised land. And dude's like, no. Nah, no, you can't. And then he looks back up like, no, no, I can't. I'm, I'm telling you, I can see it. Like, it's very obvious. Like, you trust me. I know what I'm talking about. And then dude was like, you know, the, the hippo or whatever, lion was like, no, nah, no, nah, you can't. And then he was thinking back and forth. And then he died because giraffes can't keep, they can't keep their necks down for that long. So the whole point of the story mm. was the, the, the giraffe saw the vision. Mm. And his people who might have been, they couldn't, they physically could not see the vision. They, they cannot see it. Because they're short. You up here, and he died because he was not listening to his own vision mm-hmm. versus someone else, which reminds right. me of that story. It's such a powerful story. Because yeah. right. it's like, man, and that's where it comes to focusing your time. So I'm going to go down this list really quick because we got to. <laughs> <laughs> really quick. This is a good I, list. I, did you like that one, Todd? I love that one. I did. I like that, that story. That was great. Yeah. I like that one a lot. What? Shout out to the giraffe. Oh, oh yeah, that's well, a good story. The so so <laughs> how do you feel about giraffe. this? I'll go fast. I said this is the top 10 <laughs> cares none principles to be dope. I said, number All one right. is to focus your energy. I like it. All right. Number two is to guard your time, which is one that I, I struggle with sometimes. Mm-hmm. Number three is to train your mind. You know, there's fucking like hundreds of thousands of books of, of, of successful people, e-courses, e-books, and, we, and then a lot of that shit you can get for free. So, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can go on YouTube, and obviously they don't put it, you have to like sift through it and shit like that, right. but you can still get some game to get you started on YouTube University, right? Definitely. And people don't do that. So it's like, man, it's like, find that knowledge. And I get what they be saying about entrepreneurship. It's like, 
all the winners keep trying to learn some new shit. Mm -hmm. So just and then you get addicted to like, wait, well, how, how can I solve right. this pain point? Then uh -huh. you just find a way to solve pain points. So, my mom. Uh, think for yourself, which trust your own vision, right? As opposed to the fucking lions. Uh, create your friends. I've recently had to to stop fucking with someone who I considered a brother. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And 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 and, and, and you know and that's bad. You know, and it's and I because I do love him, and you might see this. But there comes a time that I'm, I now believe in focusing on my energy so much and my time so much that if I feel like for whatever reason that it's fucking with that, you cannot be part of this because the train's too. Mm. And, and I still feel like I'm below. So you think I'm about to let something else mm -hmm. keep me from that? Like, you see how serious I am about my life. Mm -hmm. Like how, how you know so can't let that lion. Whoa, Woo. yeah, I'm a giraffe, bro. My I, neck is out here. I, you know, can't die out here. Though. Create your friends. Can't uh, die out here. Another one was create your environment, which is the same thing. Put yourself in the environment. Same thing with eating. That's part of your environment. Eat better. I had to stop drinking once I. I'm like, okay, maybe smoking is the next thing. But I'm saying like drinking to me personally. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't say that. I don't, I don't know. He says you're on your own with that one. Or, or, or maybe you got an issue with women. Like that's a big one too. So it's like you got to. Be focused. So even if you are fucking women, make sure that they're quality women and not women that are fucking up your time, you know? Uh, last but not least, or just two more, keep your promises. Mm. I remember you and I had a talk one day, and we were, we were discussing how, like, oh, when he say he's going to be here, he's going to be there. I don't even got to, I don't even got to, to say, hey, uh, we, we good for 8, eight o'clock? Yeah. We said it. You're a fucking man. On your word, or you got to deal with that. You're not gonna be part of that crew right. when the nigga can't keep a promise. So to me, keep your fucking promise. Keep your word. And if and if you absolutely cannot man the fuck up and do that shit as quick as possible, mm -hmm. fix it. Fix that pain point right away. Right. Say what it is, but don't let you keep your promises. But you should really not even let it get there. Just mm -hmm. whatever you say you're gonna do, do it. Or don't even don't even fucking say you're gonna do it. Right. Uh, stay cheerful and constructive. Mm. So. People always say, I'm, like, I'm so, so positive. People say, Yo, it's like, why, why the fuck not? <laughs> why, would I, why would I ever want to tell somebody that they, they, they can't keep their dream? Like, he wants a nice car. What, why the fuck not? Please go get it. Can I drive in there? Right, why, right. Why would, right. why would you ever, you know? Just real quick, I want to say that you can get a Bentley GT. Hey. They depreciate it pretty heavily. You can get one. I'm getting a Lambo truck now. Nice. You can get the, you can get the nice <laughs> one. And a Bentley. That was back in the day. Hey, hey <laughs> y'all, listen to him. He got a nice whip. I was in it. <laughs> it's nice, I'm telling you. So make sure y'all get in that. Like, extremely nice. That's in a business name, by the way. Which is, right. see, that's, yeah. that's nothing in my name. Absolutely. And you probably course. getting, are, did you put it on, did you put on Toro or anything? I was, but I was, was going to ask like, you about nah. that. Yeah, I was going to get into it, but uh, that's not really my space. Like, mm -hmm. Pay somebody else. Um, to and it's do about it. knowing your space. Though. Who not how? Yeah, Pay somebody else. But like, would you get? It? I was gonna think about this. I'm sorry. Would you? Uh, because you were thinking about kind of that situation to start off maybe within the business too as one of the business aspects. Right. Getting into getting a luxury car service. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a competitor to that. So. I mean, I, I I I've done it for like video shoots, so like rap videos and, and photo shoots, but like which is business giving, in itself. Yeah, but giving it somebody let them drive downtown and go crazy and scratch my rims up, like nah. But I would do it if I get like. Camrys or other cars that I don't really that I don't enjoy that much, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. for me, having the car that I have, I'd I rather not put it in somebody else's hands. Right, because that's that's your daily driver. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So would you? What would you consider about having like if you had three of them, like a fleet? They can go because so you would. Because really, I'm I'm not attached to nothing material. If it's gonna make me money, it's gonna make me money. It can go, <laughs> that, but that it would just a be in a different one. space. Like I said, it'd be for certain things like. Photo shoots where I'm not giving it to a 20 year old that's gonna right. try to be right, 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 you know, on the south side or somewhere going crazy, and I gotta right. deal with because it's stolen or something. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? That Sorry. was that was a big one, man. Is is trying to like look rich as opposed to be rich. Worried about, and that's how the brand started. Worried about what other people think. Mm -hmm. I remember, so we went to Vegas, uh, Limitless, and, and that shit was fire. Right, I'm about to tell a real. This is a real story, y'all. I'm about to be <laughs> vulnerable again. Yeah. So we're in Vegas. It's crazy. Giraffe. And then, <laughs> there was this. We did this thing called Limitless. Oh, it was a, it was a vicious weekend. We had Soldier Boy perform in the in the villa, like it was it was, yin -yang. It, was it was at the Yin Yang Twin. It was just crazy. <laughs> it, it cost like a hundred thousand dollars to do. Mm -hmm. A buddy of mine, uh, like funded all of it, right? Mm -hmm. But I was one of the the three because he was my best friend. So I got to be one of the people who that. Steve. So it was me, Steve, and his cousin Kevin. Those two was doing it. I just have the. And he trusted me, right? right? So, so I'm still part of like the leadership, so to speak. So I'm like, well, I, I gotta live the part in this situation, right? Like, this is Vegas, you know, in this situation. Not, don't got no money at the time. So I went and uh, bought some fake J's, 
Real talk, went and bought some fake J. I gotta get some fake J. I swear to God, bought some fake J. Some hey, Jabos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hustle man. Dude. Went, went, and, went and bought all this fake shit. I remember, there, and like I said, Steve brought money because he's got it, right? And, and, and I remember going in there real drunk, faded. I'm like, Steve, man, he trusts me. And he, and he knows I'm not going to do him bogus. I'm like, bro, let me just, let me just hold like 50000 in cash just to, to wow out. And he was like, did it, right? Mm. Did it on the spot. And so, then I, so he gave it to me. And then, and I went outside and like, it gave me confidence, fake confidence. It's not my energy, it's mm-hmm. his energy. But I went out going and I, and I remember thinking, and I, remember one, I was like trying to look at this one girl and she like, she like gave me the, like, she, like she didn't give a fuck. And I remember thinking like, this, I got 50, <laughs> I got my 50, I got a 50 clip said? in my pocket right now. Right? You know who the fuck you talking to? This is my house in this motherfucker. Right. I got the villain. I was like, what? And I was, and I was, and so we had a bunch, uh, uh, I was, <laughs> I had a bottle. We had a couple of bottles of some nice champagne. Yes, so I'm I remember that. With like a crystal bottle. Yes, $50, I Fifty thousand dollars, fake Jordans on. <laughs> Couldn't nobody tell me shit. In the end, I was drunk. I was on ecstasy. You was clean I, though. I, right. So my, my point is, That's funny, I, I did all that because I give a fuck mm. with what other people thought, and and mainly bitches. Excuse me, women. Like I cared that much about what people thought that I had to go that hard. On that with someone else's money, and and then if someone would have called me out, I probably would have had a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Oh no, not, I didn't have Jordans; it was uh, Louboutins, mm. and they was fresh, <laughs> they, they, but they wasn't five thousand. But, you but they were red bottoms. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I remember how ignorant I was. I was wilding. I remember somebody was like, "Oh, nice shoes." I'm like, "These things," and I threw them in the pool. <laughs> Man, they fuck these. <laughs> that wilding. I was wilding. Shoes cost me seventy five dollars. <laughs> Even that though, why am I wasting seventy five dollars? Fuck right. my shoes. I'm trying to be cool, right? right. Wow. But I'm like, Chris. oh, it's wilding, right? And I just, it's just wilding. Hey, I was wilding this weekend. Yeah, we was. That was fucking crazy. Hey, that weekend was crazy. Yeah, it, was it, just, it would have been fun. It was crazy. But my point is, is what, what's helping me get over that is no one gives a fuck. Mm. They don't. It they don't really theirs. care. No one cares what you got. It's not theirs. And anyway, and even let's say I, I don't know though. I, I think some people do care because there's a certain lane of people that are very impressionable and they are super impressed and and, and, and I agree with that. that. I agree with that. And and there's a fine line. I agree with that. Do you even want to be associated with no. those kind of people? But then number two, there is a good part of that where you do want to look the part of what it is you're talking about. So if you if you're in the money game, you'd probably like to show that you have money. Uh, you're in a transformation game like I am, you probably want to show a transformation. Mm -hmm. So in a clothing brand, do you want to go outside with ketchup stains? So I'm in this weird space of fuck what you think, but I do know human psychology. Mm -hmm. If this nigga looks the part of what he's talking about, if he has a clothing brand, the clothes should probably be fresh. So I I battle with, you know. My business skyrocketed after I got that car. Mm -hmm. I have homies that have bought BMW i8s and all type of cars, they have some of their biggest months after they post they bought a new car or a new house or anything. People just, they love to see that, you know what I mean? And it, it, I guess it kind of gives them hope too. Mm-hmm. If you're given the blueprint and you're able to do these things, I want to be a part of that also. So for me, you know, I'm not really big on the material things, but I travel every other two weeks. I just go. Points, American Express. Mm-hmm. Shout out to American Express. You know what I'm saying? They they funded all my vacations of last year. I, I just up and go, I'll, book, I'll wake up and book a trip on the way to the airport and use man, points. I don't book no tri- trip. I'd be like, D, man, I got about 250 What's good? I got about $250. Where are they going to put me, you know? <laughs> right. uh, so anyway, so like, I want to get, so we got we to gotta shut it down. But so I, I got to get, get my money right in order to scale what I believe is a, is a legit brand that I get DMs daily now. It's almost daily now of motherfuckers saying how the, the concept of it is changing. I'm like, okay, so this is real now. Like this, real people's real lives are being affected. So you have that energy, right? So I got it. I got it. But but you need financing and funds to really do it right, because it's just energy. I got to put in. I got to put more energy into my thought, which is cares none. That comes. I'm, I got to put m- as much energy as possible, so then it could turn into more energy. Right. And then you could do more shit with it. Like so. If, so if I had more energy to put it in front of a million faces or whatever the number is that you need a lot of money to do. That's just more people that can potentially be helped. Right. And it would just come back. So it's just this, this energy money game. That's all it is. You're just exchanging energies and in, 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 in what you're doing. That's all it is. Yeah. So once we figure that out, and then business credit seems like a good way to get into that game. 
like relatively easy considering because I think some people don't even realize that they can do that. Right. That having mm-hmm. a business is even possible. And you know, we're gonna get you back on so we can get even deeper into like the process of how you can we're gonna of course shout you out and whatnot and see what you how you can help people and where they can find you. But wanna get you back on, of course, and uh just getting some more game, giving people what they can uh, get from you exactly, seeing your process and whatnot. You explained a little bit to me, or a lot of it to me last time, Mm -hmm. but just getting deeper into that too. So as a matter of fact, so please, where can they find you? Instagram, Facebook, uh, my Facebook name, Lionel Holmes, L-I-O-N-E-L-L, Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S. Then my Instagram is at uh, underscore at O-O-H, that's Lotto. So hit me up on Instagram, book a consultation, get you straight, start your business, scale, make some money. Absolutely. Where can they find you? I can't really be found right now, <laughs> to be honest. I've been, you know, in the in the weeds. Like I've been off the grid uh, for the last few years, just really getting everything together. You know, mm-hmm. getting my doctorate degree, um, getting solidified in my career, and just like for me, a lot of times my experience with the people that's been around me and their interactions on social media has been more of a distraction. Mm. Uh, but now I'm getting into the business space. I will start to develop that, and that's something that I'm working on also in this, you know, in the near future. And that's a part of my journey. Um, but uh, I didn't really have a a purpose for it uh, because if it wasn't going to help, that's probably most people too. Yeah, if weird. it wasn't going to be productive to my life, I, I wasn't really wanting. But now that I have a purpose for it, and I can actually use it to something to you know benefit my life, then I you know I'll start to 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 do it. So. Um, a lot, know, people, a lot of people. A lot of people do say so coming soon. Yeah, yeah, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's dope. That's dope. But you start with the LLC. You just gotta, right, right. It's yeah. A lot of people do that. say that like, like you you need to be in the social media game because that's the, the that's like the free way to get you whatever it is that you're thinking of doing in front of new eyes. And once you start getting into the advertising game, like we had Reggie B on, you can pay those people to do that better than you can because because I, I can easily go on Facebook, YouTube, and I have done it. And I, you talk about getting the, it was you, we get the ebook and only mm-hmm. did thirty percent of it. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, it's true because I only did thirty percent. I was in the morning meetup for you know seven months, so mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, there, there is a, they, these people did it hundred and twenty percent. You did it thirty. So either you didn't want to do it or you were lazy. Whatever the thing is, these people did it one ten. So put your energy into that. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I definitely get what you're talking about, man. But you got to be on social media. No, yeah, no, yeah, that's I know, that's, no, that's, I know yeah. Nah, and, I, and I, I got, got that purpose too. So I'm telling you, and now you're gonna be on this, so you are all gonna see it because I that's the well, one well, thing I know I got is a fucking. Let, let me soon. let me say For this sure. though. Let me say this though. Okay, this man been getting his doctor degree, which is so fire. That's, that's the most vicious fucking thing you can try to do. So to, how to, hard was that shit? I applaud shit? you for not using social media for the yeah. last no, ten years. Like I, for real, I couldn't. You know, like to in order for me to do that, I really had to make some some sacrifices that a lot of other people aren't willing to make. Um, so, you know, not a power my back to myself, but you know, like I said, you just, when you start in something 50 miles behind, you got to really mm. do some things you can't that, mess up. Yeah. yeah you, you don't, you don't have it. time to take a, take a no. 10 minute breath and none of that. You no, got to like, whatever. See, people yeah. tell me that like, I, I'm drastic with some of my decisions. I'm like, like for instance, you taking cold showers. I know a lot of people think that that shit's crazy or like not masturbating. Right, a lot. No, I'm serious. This is the things that I that I do. Yeah. Because I'm like, I need I need to sacrifice. (laughs) This is real talk. You gotta. I want to be like, like when I see The Rock and Kevin Hart and Killers, Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. The only thing difference between them is they got into that game, whatever it is, and they just mastered it better and they've been doing it longer. Mm -hmm. They 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 piss, shit, sleep, eat, have sex with girls. They got bad days, and you know they got a you know they got a heartbreak. They're just human beings. They figured it out. So I'm like. Mm -hmm. And I'm not salty at them. I'm like, go figure it out because you're giving me the blueprint on how to do it. Right, right. And then you got people who are doing it and you could just go to them because I'm like, oh, this game is definitely fig- – and if you have proof of concept. Mm. So you got proof of concept, any idea, these niggas know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. They know what they're doing. And you know 4% of what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And if you want your shit to pop, you got to go talk to them. So. And, to, and to your point with the, the list you, you, you uh, spoke about a moment ago into what Lionel was saying, it's like a lot of times, you know, we are our own biggest pain point. We are our own mm-hmm. biggest <laughs> distraction. We are our own biggest block. Like sometimes people can't see something and that they'll never obtain it because they don't even have that vision to see it. The giraffe. You know? mm. um, so you really can only go as far as you can see. So you first have to see it. See it. And be willing to see it, mm. and then you have to be willing to pursue it. And everybody's not gonna see that. Like can't, I can't see your vision, 
he can't see your vision. So mm. you have to know that you might need to go somewhere that we might not be comfortable going or you might have to do something that we not might not be comfortable doing, you know, be, to get to where you know you you want to be. And that's that's the that's the biggest thing and discipline a lot of times. You now we we can talk about like, you know, personal credit, uh business credit and how to, you know, build this and scale that and do all this stuff, but if you're not disciplined with, with these concepts, mm. if you're not disciplined with these strategies, mm. it won't be successful. Um, because, you know, a lot of people have consumerism mindsets. So just because they have access to more funds. I'm dropping a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they gave me 100000 right. And that's All how you, that's how you was turn that business up to the top. Yeah. That's now you're giving, you know, Louis and all these people your money. Yeah, not cares <laughs> none. <laughs> Put the money in cares <laughs> now. Like, like, they got to get cash. Right, they got to cares so, so, but that that is, you know, without that, all of the things we talking about, all of the the um, things. So that was that's like the one thing that I feel like we all share in common is that we have that discipline and that vision yeah, to see, did. you know, something mm. farther than where we currently stand. Mm. But imagine if we did it when we was 21. 22. I know, I know. Not, I know, not, 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 not to dwell on it, but imagine if we had somebody to give us that game at 21. So if you're 21 now, and yeah. listen, you can say, fuck what we talking about. Understand that we believe that this is possible. There's different levels up here, but we believe that it's possible. You can go on YouTube and see other successful people saying that it's possible. Just go in and do your own little research. Just put a little few minutes in. Right. And be disciplined. Put put t- and start small. Start small. Read that book, Atomic Habits. I'm telling you, you start small. Do, do something little. Like let's say you don't drink, you you're a heavy drinker. Let's say that. Let's get down to that. I have a mm-hmm. drinking problem. Go one weekend without drinking. And then drink on Monday. Just do that. Oh, you, just go. Just go the next hour. What if your shit's that bad? I can't even go an hour without. Just, give me one hour then. So I definitely I love this talk. D, where can they find you? Yeah, yeah. So actually, I had a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I just started. I just hired a company, a consulting company, an NFT consulting company. Mm. Um, it's called DrCrypto.ca. It's a company out in Canada. They're gonna be helping guide me through the uh, NFT space going forward. I'm actually getting a a, a metaverse built. It's gonna, and I'm gonna change my name. My name within the brand is gonna be pretty cool, Bonobos, because I'm gonna be making it more focused. I'm gonna be turning, um, 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 basically, a city. I'm gonna be turning into a metaverse. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be called the Meta Sanctuary. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a play on bonobo conservation. I'm gonna be conserving uh, bonobos. You know, the cousins of chimpanzees. How I always mm-hmm. talk about. And then as you already showed you my my uh, NFTs with those, right? Yeah. So Sorry, I have too. the NFTs. They're going to be ready you in about two weeks. It's a thousand of them? It's going to be a thousand NFTs. They're going to be ready in a week, uh, two weeks. I got that ordered on Fiverr, getting prepared. But my guy who's going to create my metaverse, um, he um, he's going to create a, like a sustainable city and also a conservation space. So it's going to be like a play on bonobos as, as if they've evolved into a sustainable living type of lifestyle. But it's like with their type of social norms okay. behind it too, and you know how I always talk about bonobos and stuff, how they solve the yeah. problems with Digital sex anthropology. and all that other stuff. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna actually hire somebody. I, excuse me, I have a team now that's gonna be helping mm. me go through that process, and I've solved the biggest pain point with that because NFT space is so new, and me being on the back of house side of that, meaning that I want to be a creator in that space, it was so pivotal, pivotal, excuse me, for me to hire a team that was gonna help me and Dude. guide me through that space. Facts. So now I can. Because now you're gonna do it right, absolutely. the right way, and not like you're trying to figure it out. And absolutely. that's the one downfall with YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, to to get what you're getting by putting all energy in one spice, they got all. You can piece it, but it would take you like years and shit to do mm-hmm. it right. Right, exactly. You can do it. Right, you can. But it's like do it right. Right. Do it plush, like how Derek does this shit. Exactly. So, um, shout out to them. But um, you'll find me in the metaverse soon. It's gonna be the Meta Sanctuary. PrettyCoolBonobos.com. I just bought the domain name for that, so we're going to start locking those things up. I have my NFTs coming soon. It's going to be about a three-month project or so I'm looking at. And I love it because the video guy that they have on the, the team, he actually works with uh, Jay Cutler, the, 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 uh, the bodybuilder. The body build, excuse me. So he actually does. He's making his metaverse right now. It's called Meta Pumps and whatnot. So mm. I saw his work. I get to work with him. So you directly. know it's legit, right? You know it's no. Come bullshit. on now, pain. We got receipts. Points. Receipts, Let's baby. Give go. me the. Show me the receipts. I need them. <laughs> I need them. I need them. I need them. So yeah, we'll catch me in the metaverse soon. That's dope. Tom, where can they find you? Chicago Podcast Studio, the <laughs> Digital Group, baby. That's my hey, boy. Hey, I want to sit down with you and do like one of those legit like, b- like brand commercials. Let's do it. Like like a legit one where like put it on the front of the page, the new web page I'm coming I out with. You, you saw what we and did. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying. I'm like, no, he, he, like, he does it right. So we're going to sit down with you and we'll knock that out. 
Uh, you can find me. Is that all they can find you? Yeah. What about IG? Anova Digital. Okay. Group. Group. I don't have a personal. I'm like you. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You can find me at uh, caresnone.com. Uh, you can find me on any any of the social media platforms at Chris Cares None. Um, you're obviously watching this on YouTube, uh, IG, TikTok, LinkedIn. Get it all together. LinkedIn, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of bullshit LinkedIn. We gotta get on that, man. I know, because I feel like LinkedIn. You on LinkedIn? I, uh, I'm, I'm on LinkedIn. <laughs> I don't think you are. Really? I swear to God, I'm on LinkedIn. You yeah, know LinkedIn, Tom? Uh, of course, I'm on all LinkedIn. Right. But. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn. Let's <laughs> see, go uh, And as always, hey, Cares None. <laughs>